Hey guys, it's Erlen Ryan here, and today we're going to talk about the electronic throttle system that's used on the 2JZ VVTi and a similar system that's used on the 1JZ ETCSI, which is also a drive by wire unit. So, as you can see, this is a throttle body. Brian's doing a nice little walk around for you guys. So, these still use a cable, even though it's electronic throttle body. So, you're going to have a cable that's hooked up to here and what this cable is doing is it's rotating this sensor and this is essentially your pedal position sensor um, some people call it a second TPS but what it is is it's measuring how much your foot is actually pressing the pedal if you look inside as I rotate this the blades not moving now what happens in this system is you rotate this this sensor tells the ECU how much you're pressing the throttle. Then the ECU in turn turns on a clutch inside the motor here. And then the other two wires apply voltage to open or close the throttle body. So on the opposite side here is the true actual TPS. And this tells the ECU how much the blade's actually moving in relation to the, th in relation to the pedal. So this system is a little bit finicky and can be a little bit weird to work with, but uh, Drift Motion offers these bypass units. So this being a 2JZ throttle body would use this bypass unit right here. It's a Drift Motion 3403. Now what this is going to do is allow you to use this throttle cam here as a direct input to the blade. Now this is what we're running in the 2JZ BMW to remove the drive-by-wire system from the car. You cannot remove the drive-by-wire system if you're running a factory ECU. All the factory ECUs that use drive-by-wire are going to look pretty much like this. This one happens to be a 2JZ VVTi ECU. The 1JZ ETCSI will look pretty much the same. A couple small differences, but the basic layout is the same. And we went ahead and I pulled out a Pro Series 2JZ VVTi harness so you can take a look at what it looks like. The connectors are going to be the same for the ETCSI. There's just small differences between the turbo setups. Now, this here we have a drift motion bypass for an ETCSI, so you can see the difference mechanically inside under this cover. It's a pretty big difference, so you want to make sure you order the correct bypass for the product that you're running. Now, I'll just touch on it one more time. The bypasses can only be used on an aftermarket ECU and you will not be able to use them on a factory ECU.